But a treasurer of Luffy is what- Oh! I'm back. I did it. I'm in a new studio. I'm in a new house. I moved, actually. That's why I've been off YouTube for so long. But here I am. I have no idea how this video is gonna come out. This is the first one that I'm doing in my new studio, but I have so much exciting stuff lined up and it's gonna get cooler and cooler looking in here. So please join me for the ride. Uh, today is gonna be an OP08 case opening. I'm shooting for a live stream of OP08 and OP09 case opening tomorrow night. That's gonna be Sunday, September, what is it, the 8th, I think? So tune in tomorrow night for a double case opening, English and Japanese, OP08 and OP09. Um, and I got this strip them for you today. So if this is your first time here, welcome to my new studio. If you're a regular subscriber, thanks for coming back. I hope you like the new digs and um, let's get this case open. So when you watch this case opening, I cut through all the extra stuff. We're just gonna see the hits. So it's just gonna be a case of hits. I'll go over the, the end, them at the end. And then if you wanna tune in weekly on Wednesdays, I'm gonna be doing box openings again every week. It's gonna be double box openings of OP08 alternating with OP09, probably for the next like 12 weeks. So I'm gonna get back to it. I'm here, let's go. We got our OP08 case, what is this? Two legends. All right, so normally you know I have my strip and blade, but I've been doing a lot of construction, so I'm actually gonna be using this uh, screwdriver that my brother gave me as my strip and knife. So um, here we go, first box. Let's do it. Zuro, which is like a version of Zoro. Oh, pudding. This card's crazy. So Law was really big on this card, but it's really good in anything purple because whenever you use a Dawn minus effect, you get a Dawn back essentially. So. Um, it's very strong to just keep your dom up. This is definitely an alt art. I'm looking for that and Black Maria. I think purple gets a lot stronger in this set. Uh, oh, Ace, is that an alt art? Yeah, look at that, that is sick. This goes really well with the Luffy. There's Luffy right there, actually, from set two. It, uh, they're both blue. Uh, on play, reveal one card from the top of your deck. Play up to one character uh, type, including wipe your pirates, toss a four or less, and place the rest of the bottom of your deck. Pretty strong. You can play like Marco, I guess, in, in the red, blue Marco, the blocker. Um, and then I'm sure there's stuff in this set also. But yo, yeah, those are some, some pretty spicy alt art pulls. All right, box number two. So I think Black Maria, the Black Jack, the pudding is really good. And ooh, yeah, one of the legends. Oh yeah, gee, this is white beard. This card is very interesting. I, if you play Dragon Ball Super, it's kind of like Topo. Um, if your leader includes wipe your pirates, you two or less life cards, select all of your opponent's characters on their field until the end of your opponent's next turn. None of the selected characters can attack unless your opponent trashes two cards in their hand whenever they attack. So it kind of like forces your opponent to thin their hand, but if they have enough cards in hand and they can go for game, you can still like swing over this and win, but then they have to deal with the 12k swing on the other side. So it's pretty, pretty strong. Um, I think that I think Jack might be one of the strong. Ooh, Big Mom and Kaido. Here we go. This is one of the secret rares. There are two secret rares in this set. This card is very very strong. Dawn minus ten. You KO all characters other than this card, and then you ramp a life, and your opponent trashes life. So it has the effect of Big Mom and Kaido basically on one card, which is really crazy. But you Dawn minus ten. So in decks like uh, Luffy that. Uh, the, the red purple Luffy you can get a Dawn back and in the next set the Luffy can also use this card because you automatically get two Dawn back um, from this card's effect so the next turn you're at four after paying for this monstrous card. All right box number three we're in here. Law because he was like basically one in every other case. Oh Blackjack there we go hitting big on Blackjack. This card is insanely strong. Another meta defining card just KO his stuff for no reason. He gains plus, plus four cost, so he's an 11 cost. And then you can just rest this guy, draw something, and pop something. It's bonkers. All right, we should get, oh, Altar Leader. Marco? That's Marco from the Handsome Boy Modeling School. You know? I'm not gonna say anything about this card because I think everybody has their own thoughts and feelings and ideas. So I'll just leave that there and keep shrimping. I'm assuming there's gonna be another hit in this pack. It's probably, oh, there it is. Wiper. Wow, 
yeah, so Cogger is pretty cool. This is a cool deck. I'm excited to play it. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, I've printed a whole set for myself, actually. I've been testing it out. It's pretty aggressive. All right, box number four. We're a quarter, a third of the way in this case. Probably stripping a lot of packs. I'm really hoping that the Treasure Rare Luffy has the same drop rate as the Treasure Rare Law because, so, Rayleigh. All right, this card's pretty strong. I feel like Red's gonna come back. Shanks, I think, is is a very strong leader. So in set nine, this card might be playable in there. I don't know how to find them. Oh, yeah. All right, well, this goes in. I'm actually playing this in an ST13 Luffy list. I have a trigger heavy. This card looks great. Wow, I don't think I pulled a Japanese one of those. This is really nice. Five costs, so you can put it in your life. And it has triggers, so my idea is kind of, you know, put this in life and then cycle, uh, what's her name, the viola off of like Moria's or if you have it in hand and try and just set up triggers in your life that they have to swing through instead of like making your leader really big, like make your life really useful. So I don't know how that list will work. I'm gonna try it out, but that card I need four of actually. I think it's just a treasure rare. Oh, big mom. Not the treasure or loot, but this card's kind of strong. Uh, Dawn minus one, trash card from hand, add up one card from the top of your deck to your life cards, and then add one of your opponent's characters with cost of six more to the top or bottom of your opponent's life cards face up. So it's like removal in a way, but also uh, life gains. So it gains you life. So in black purple, this is kind of strong because you can minus the cost of stuff and you can then play this, you know, Tempest Kick, Ice Age something, and then you can hit pretty much anything into life. Kind of strong. Pop out, pop out of the wall and say, hey, didn't see you there, I'm really. Oh, yeah, a snake. All right, so this card's kind of weird. It's, it's sort of like the Boa card from the last set. It like freezes a character. Um, and it's a 6K swing, which is pretty good. But you don't, really like you don't trigger play it you just would have to hard cast it and then do its effect i guess this is really for like egghead stuff because it has the egghead uh trait same with the nami let's oh leader here we go is it gonna be our boy chopper carrot another animal of the animals the mix this looks really good actually this might be one of my favorite altar leaders from this set art on this looks fire Wow, really, really good. All right, we are on box number six. We're closing in on our halfway point. I need four eggheads with the treasure of Luffy's bad. Oh, queen, this is a Animal Kingdom searcher, I think. Yeah, look at the top five of your deck and search for an Animal Kingdom pirate and place the rest of the bottom deck in any order. So this is the first time we're getting an Animal Kingdom searcher. Eight sets in, kind of wild. Is that correct? It's, I think gonna be Rayleigh. Hello, really? Oh, Queen SP. Yes, this is probably the best SP to pull in my opinion. This blocker is very, very useful. It's been useful since the day the game came out basically and it's still very useful. So it's great that they did a reprint of this. And now, searchable? Does Queen not search? Does Queen searches himself? Oh no, other than Queen. Queen does not search himself. Sorry. But still a really cool looking card. I think we're gonna see two SPs. So there should be one more SP. Probably the SP Ace. I like the look of that card. But a Treasurer Luffy is what. Oh yes! Oh yeah! That's what we're looking for. This guy. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. And it looks so good. That is going directly into my deck. Wow. I love that card. I love this card. I really love this card. I don't know if you heard about it, but this is basically what exactly what I was asking for for this set. Because I don't like this set that much. But this card makes this set worth opening. There's a lot of meta-defining cards in this set, definitely but this card is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Let's go. 
It's about time for an all-star chopper. Oh, caliber a leader. Cool. Very cool. I want to play this leader, so I'm happy to have this leader. Very, very nice. Tongue out. I don't think. Or maybe an SP. Could be an SP, possibly as well. Yo, Karoto. Wow, very cute. I pulled this in Japanese. I vaguely remember seeing this. Wow, look at those stars. So shiny. Very nice. Box number nine. We haven't pulled any red alt arts. There we go. Yes! If we're gonna pull any double alt art in this set, this is the one I wanted. So to double this in a case is big value. I'm talking huge value. I'm talking value the size of my head, neck, and cheeks. We could have one more alt art in here, or an SP, or an alt art leader, SP, Bony Searcher, amazing. This card looks nuts. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Wow. What an amazingly sick looking card. That is just gorgeous. Really, wow. Box number 10. I'm feeling, I'm feeling something, something, some kind of cute animal. Oh, Black Maria. She's a spider, not very cute, but very good card. Very insanely good card for absolutely no reason. This card should not have been activate main. It absolutely didn't need 2K counter power, but this card's ability is activate main once per turn. If you have no other Black Maria characters, add up to five Dawn cards from your Dawn deck and rest them. At the end of this turn, return Dawn cards from your field to your Dawn deck until you have the same number of Dawn cards on your field as your opponent. So you can essentially, if you're playing the Kaido leader and you have this card on board, you can just activate main and do Kaido's leader skill every turn. Because you're gonna get two back at the beginning of the turn, you rest this, get five, Dawn minus seven, trash of life. Which is nuts. There's no reason that this card should exist. This card is way too powerful, but makes purple really good. So time to play purple, I guess. Oh, Rayleigh, Altar. I like this. Um, I like this one a lot. I actually probably like this more than the manga art. This like cosmic kind of cool looking old mysterious man with a strong skill. He just makes two things really weak and then kills one of them. And then you have an 8K swing the next turn. All right, we got two more boxes. We're on box number 11. One more two hit box. And then, oh, here's our leader. So there should be three hits in here. Please, chopper, please, pudding. That's really good. Anyway, actually, so this is actually, this is very, very, very good. Uh, this, this leader is strong. I think the downside of this leader is if you just don't see your pieces. But if you see your pieces, it's nuts. So I think pudding is very, very good. I love the art on that one, actually, very much. Probably want that more than Chopper. I'm sure we'll get a Chopper. All right, two more hits in here, I think. Oh, Chopper, yeah, that is a hit. Wow, shiny, very shiny. They did not leave much not shiny on this card, but the, the, the flowers look beautiful. And so much crying. Your turn, on play, when attacking with the five cards at the top of your deck, play one animal type character with 4,000 power or less, rest it, then place the rest of the bottom of your deck. So on swing and on play, he plays something. That's Zoro. So Zoro actually is strong from the animal pirate stuff, or animal kingdom, animal, just animal stuff. That's why they call it Zoro. If you go to uh, kaizoncards.com, there is a Zoro leader. If you search Z-O-O-R-O, -O, you will find Chopper and Zoro on a motorcycle driving together. And it's made for this card. All right, we are on to our last box. This is box number 12 of the case. I think we've pulled four boxes that were two hit boxes. Oh, Koreha, very excellent. Yes, yeah, so now we got both of the red alt arts. That's hype. Um, I think we just haven't, have we pulled S Snake? Maybe, yeah, we did. I don't know, I don't know what other alt arts are missing. Because there's a king leader, so there's our big mom Kaido. Let's go, all right. There should 100% be an alternate art in this pack. I think, because one, two, three, four, wait, five? There were five two hit boxes? 
Does that mean there's six two hit boxes in these cases? Oh, gross. Ew. Yeah, let's go over these, these, this case opening. So the last box we opened was two hits. The box before that was three hits. It was uh, all Thark Pudding, Rayleigh, and Chopper. And then we had a two hit box, Black Maria and the Rayleigh Alt Art. And then we had a three hit box, which was the Bonnie SP, Nami and Kaido and Big Mom. And then we had another three hit box, which was Carrot, Tagara and Rayleigh. And then we had another, this was the most insane box, the Luffy, the Queen SP and the Kaido and Lin Lin, Whew. nuts, absolutely nuts box. And then we had another two hit box, it was Queen and Rayleigh. And then we had a three hit box that was Carrot, S Snake, and Lin Lin. Another two hit box, the Onami, Art Nami, and Silver Rayleigh. And then a three hit box that was Wiper, Marco, and Jack. Black Jack card's crazy. Doesn't look that cool, but it's crazy. And then a two hit box, Kaido and Newgate, or Kaido and Lulu and Newgate. And then another two hit box that was Ace and Pudding. So yeah, we had six. It's six and six. That is bad. That means you have a 50% chance with every box in this set to only get two hits from it. That sucks. I think every other recent set has been four double hit boxes and eight triple hit boxes. I'm pretty sure, but I could be wrong on that. Anyway, that really sucks. Uh, Bond, I dropped the ball on this one. Um, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm back for more One Piece content. I am a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip would be if you are thinking about straightening your teeth, do it. Not only just to have straight teeth, but to balance your bite. Over the course of your life, your teeth take damage from the forces on different angles. And they're designed to take forces in specific ways. That's why your front teeth are flat for shearing food and your back teeth are rounder and have more points for mashing food up. But the teeth are designed to take forces in certain areas. So over the course of your life, your teeth are constantly shifting and they move into positions where they're not really supposed to be taking force there per se. So your teeth can break when you get older. So straightening your teeth and then wearing a retainer at night to keep your teeth in alignment is one of the best investments you can possibly make. And I warn you, do not do it at home. Go to a dentist, do it with a dentist so you're actually having your case designed for a balanced bite rather than just straightening your teeth to get them straight. Because one of the goals is getting a balanced bite, getting even spaces between your teeth so it's easy to clean and keeping your teeth healthy for the rest of your life because things get harder when you get older. I can't jump on my skateboard as easily and roll down a hill, but eating should not be hard to do. You should be able to enjoy that your whole life. I'm Joku DMD. Thanks for coming to my new studio and checking out my case opening. We'll be back with a lot more over the next couple weeks. And uh, Sunday night, tune in. We're gonna do a live stream. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make it happen. Sunday night at, uh, I'm gonna say 8 p.m. or maybe 9 p.m. Double case opening, OPO9 and OPO8 English. OPO9 should be dope. Jana, matane.